My name is Amanda Hare. I'm the president of Sunterra Farms Greenhouse. And we're standing in the first 20 acres of what will be a 70 acre year round growing operation in Acme, Alberta. Currently at this facility, we're growing a combination of tomatoes and strawberries. So we have 17 and a half acres of tomatoes and we grow grape tomatoes, beef steak and tomatoes on the vine. And you get anywhere between 40 to about 100 kilograms per square meter of growing area over the entire crop season. And then on the strawberries, we're seeing anywhere between 15 and 22 uh, kilos produced out of the strawberry range. One of the most key components of a successful year-round growing operation is light. And so conventionally, greenhouses would use lights called HPS, which are very inexpensive upfront costs, but very expensive in terms of energy costs over the course of years. And they kick off heat, which sometimes isn't what you want in the bench months of fall and, and springtime. So a lot of growers are now moving towards LED lighting. And although they're more expensive on the front end, they're a lot more energy efficient and they also deliver the plants a full spectrum of ultraviolet light. So it really allows us to target exactly what the plants need year round. They are so energy efficient and we knew that the savings would be there over a number of years. But when we found out that there was some support the government was providing in order to help businesses make these types of decisions, it was a huge relief. So it really supported us by helping to offset about 25% of the cost of our LED lights. We, as Albertans, are consuming about 95% of our produce is imported from other markets. Some as far as Mexico and California during the winter months. We thought Alberta was a great place to build a greenhouse to support provinces from BC all the way through to Manitoba. So really to cover the prairie provinces and reduce our reliance on imports.